What's going on, everyone? Happy Wednesday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully, you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long-term issues and no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Wednesday edition of the Pandemic Update for Wednesday, December 20th, 2023. First off, starting off today, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where we do the daily pandemic update. Yes, that pandemic, COVID. It hasn't ended. You may be hearing things like during the pandemic or back when we had COVID. No, no, no. COVID is still ongoing right now. And to be honest with you, it's a pretty big problem that seems to be getting worse and worse because right now cases are rising and hospitalizations are rising. We're in the middle of the winter surge. A couple months from now, maybe I'll be happily saying, hey, cases are dropping. We're coming down from a surge. Right now, I can't say that because there's a lot of things that are going on. So if at the end of this video, you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Let's start off with my notes today as we're doing an update from out here in the wild. And I have several notes for you today, as you can see here, a lot of things that I wanna share. First off, New Jersey for today. 69 out of 70 hospitals are reporting in New Jersey. That's almost every hospital except for one. And their hospitalizations have now reached 899. They also now have 114 people in the ICU. Across the river in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia had 805 EMS incidents today. And you may have just heard in the background at the start of this update, yet another ambulance. I have seen ambulance after ambulance all day long so far. JN.1 is now the fastest growing COVID variant in the United States. In flu news, CDC says Louisiana leads the nation in flu activity ahead of the holiday gatherings. Data shows the New Orleans metro area has higher rates than other parts of the state of Louisiana, which would mean uh, Louisiana, uh, New Orleans is seeing one of the highest rates of flu in the country right now. That's not good. And if you recall, when we did an at-home update with data-filled one, you saw Louisiana is at the highest shade of purple right now on the map which is not good, as I believe is South Carolina. All right, here's some slightly good news. Vaccinated children are less likely than unvaccinated children to develop long COVID. So this is a good thing. It says, you know, long COVID symptoms that can last multiple months or maybe even years after an infection. And according to this study, children are less likely, if they are vaccinated, to develop long COVID. Can it still happen? Yes but it's not as likely to happen. And then we move up to Quebec. And currently, 1 million Quebecers, or 1 million people in Quebec right now, are infected with respiratory viruses. Yikes. In the past two weeks alone, it's estimated that at least 1 million people in Quebec have contracted a range of inhalable viruses, including COVID, RSV, and influenza. So that is not good. And then we have some more bad news for you today as well. I mean, JN.1, let's talk about JN.1. So JN.1, now the fastest growing variant in the U.S. Well, we have our first state now where JN.1 is believed to be dominant. That is New York State. And New York State, it's, it's not good. 3,013 new cases. Hospitalizations, remember they just went over the uh, 2,000 mark yesterday. They literally just went over that yesterday. Well, they had another big increase today. It's now 2,132 people in the hospital. So yes, New York State hospitalizations, all of a sudden, yeah, they're rapidly rising. And should this continue, mind you, next week, there's going to be limited data reporting because of the holidays, but I could see them fast track to 3,000 just because in other parts of the world, where we have seen JN.1 take over, hospitalizations literally start going straight up. This is not a good trend, my friends. Hopefully, we will see a peak sometime in early January, but for now, we have to just watch what's happening at this current moment. We're also seeing a big increase in cases now in Texas. Texas reported 16,087 cases in the previous week. That's well over 3,000 higher 
than what they had last week. Deaths went up by 1 to 46. And hospitalizations in Texas, yes, they're rising. 1,425. And I do think they are also a candidate for a state that will eventually have hospitalizations over 2,000. It's just a sign of the times as to what's happening right now. Now, I had a question yesterday about wastewater. And do I have an explanation for why some states are uh, seeing these, or some wastewater sites are seeing these huge spikes in wastewater? Remember yesterday, we were taking a look at some wastewater sites where we saw just a rapid increase? Yes, I'm starting to see that. And I don't really have an explanation for it yet. I haven't had enough time to do a lot of research. It's my busy season. Next week, we'll have all the time in the world to do research because I give myself off next week, at least until New Year's Eve. I think that's what I'm going to do. But it's being noted on Twitter. It's happening in other parts of the world as well. It's something we have to pay very close attention to because we have not seen such rises in a very long time at these wastewater sites that are doing this. So, yes, rises like that are extremely concerning. And when we find them, obviously, we want to know, is that the JM.1 variant? Is it a new variant? Just what is going on there? So here's the um, lowdown. Here's what's going on right now. As mentioned, New York State, likely the first state to see JN.1 become dominant, and the hospital increase is becoming very rapid. I'm very concerned about that. Should that progress to all the other states just like that, we have ourselves a huge problem because things are a little different this year. You have other viruses at play. Now, last year, uh, COVID and flu, yes, and RSV, yes, they all mixed together, but JN.1 is a bit more of a concerning variant. So the amount of um, hospitals that could get overwhelmed just because of the fact that other respiratory viruses are so high right now, it's more concerning than last year, in my opinion, because the increase that we are starting to see in New York State, it's faster than what we saw in uh, other years. And mind you, there's this huge problem that's going on. New Jersey, New York, really every state probably has at least one hospital that's just not testing for COVID. And in some states, it's it's many hospitals. And that's a problem. Hospitals are strained with people. Oh, well, we have a COVID-like illness, but it's not COVID because, well, they're not testing for COVID. That's a big problem. Hospitals, come on, step up your game. If you are the administrator of a hospital and you're watching one of my videos right now, or maybe you're watching this video, please test your emergency department patients for COVID. If they're coming in with a virus that's a respiratory-like virus, please test them for COVID. So what if the numbers go up? I mean, that's what's going to happen. We need to know what the real count is of the numbers right now. And the one way to do that is test yourself for COVID. Even if you're not in the hospital, you're sick, you're homesick, please test for COVID. We need to know how many people have COVID. We need reliable and accurate data, especially now that we do have a variant of interest. That's right. It's now a variant of interest. It's concerning. I mean, this JN.1, it went from nothing. Well, first we had the BA 2.86 variant. Then came JN.1, and it went from nothing to a very concerning widespread variant around the world within just a matter of a month or two. This is just showing you how strong this variant is and how fast it can spread. Do we know if it's going to be more severe yet? We won't know that until some point in January, until post-wave, as we see what's happening with the deaths. Right now, cases are still going up, and yet deaths are already rising. That is not a good thing. The only slightly bit of good news that we may have is there's some rumors going around or talk that maybe RSV on a national level is starting to uh, peak, but eh, let's wait a couple more weeks till we can actually say for confidence, that is, because it's really different in every state, and there are some states where RSV has not yet peaked. Alrighty, folks, that's really all I have for you today. Uh, the holiday is coming up. We're getting closer to that Christmas holiday. I'm going to remind you this again. If you're starting to feel sick, COVID test multiple times, go out and get that test done for flu, RSV, whatever. Do it now. And if you test negative for COVID and you're sick, test multiple times. Test again tomorrow. Test again Friday, Saturday. You do not want to be going to people's houses, spending the holidays, Christmas, or whichever holiday you celebrate while sick. You need to quarantine. 
If you're sick right now, today being Wednesday the 20th, if you're sick right now, Christmas is on 25th. I hate to tell you this. I really do. It breaks my heart to have to tell you this, but you have to exclude yourself from going to someone's house. You are now positive and it, it's too late. You can't, uh, you won't recover in time. If you dish tested positive, it's, it's too late. You could still potentially give COVID to maybe grandma, maybe to your parents. Do you really want to get them sick? No, no one wants to see their loved ones, friends, family get sick. I mean, it's just not the right thing to do. Okay, all right, that does it for today's pandemic update. We'll have another pandemic update again tomorrow. Probably once again, it'll be out here in the wild. It's my busy season. Uh, just stay safe, everyone. Do whatever you can to stay safe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. Share this with anyone who needs to see this. Again, we are coming into a really dangerous time now where probably um, in the coming days, I'll be talking about multiple states that could potentially be, you know, having JN.1 as a dominating variant with rapidly rising hospital situation, which is not good. I will see you guys all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Wednesday afternoon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.